you think about the artists that we consider superstars and the artists that we consider legends, they all went through artist development process. So that's why they always gonna last. You know what I'm saying? I always say, if a song is bigger than the artist, they ain't gonna last that long. I mean, yeah. they, they gotta keep- One of the biggest obstacles artists face in the music game is access. Getting access to the people that can make it happen or access to the information and resources you need to get to the next level. That's the key. That's why you need two of the biggest in the game on your side. Introducing J.R. McKee. Boom Man, welcome to the real industrial plug. You heard me? We'll go to the next topic after this, but I just want to very, very much clear this part up too. Basically, when you're selling your catalog, you're selling your revenue streams, whether it be one or two revenue streams, all of them together. You know what I mean? So like, if I want to sell my publishing and PR or, or I want to sell my, my master revenue, whatever those streams are, you can choose to put those together and sell them for a multiple of 10 to 12, maybe 15 X. Yeah. Um, but once you have sold that, you still control anything new you you make after that. Absolutely. So if I so if I'm an artist, I done put out three projects. They doing really good. I'm making X amount of money. I can sell that, get the money to invest into the next three projects. Yep. You know what I mean. So so that's kind of a, a good way to go about it. If I was a new artist, or if I if I had um, revenue coming in. <laughs> Instead of getting a loan or instead of signing a deal, you know what? Let me just sell these first three, get to 1.5, 2 million, whatever the number may be, yep. and then invest in the next ones with that, as well as take care of my family. Yeah. And also, like you said, you can sell whichever stream you want to sell, but you Yeah, also you don't even have to sell, sell all the streams. Yeah, you can also sell a point. You don't have to sell 100% of it. You can sell 50%, 75%, 25% of each yeah. stream. It's however you want to do your deal. Got you. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. Since since you do have a, a management background and obviously you've been in the game, how many years you been in the game, Cersei? Since two thousand one. Since two thousand one, twenty one years in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Is artist development still important? Absolutely. Okay, talk very, to us. Very important. I just think like if you think about the artists that we consider superstars and the artists that we consider legends, they all went through artist development process. So that's why they always gonna last. You know what I'm saying? I always say, if a song is bigger than the artist, they ain't gonna last that long. I mean, yeah. they, they gotta keep coming with hit records, but certain artists can just put out whatever, not saying what records, but because they was already built the fan, they was artists developed right, and people bought into them, not just the song, people bought into them, and they gonna always win and always be relevant. So if it's so important, why aren't labels doing it anymore? Because if they, they got to move fast, just like people doing independent, people just uploading their music and putting it out every month. So the labels got to move along with the times and move fast or they're going to lose out. So, mm. it may, so when you think about all these independent artists that's having success, they don't art, they do not do artist development. They just come out. So labels got to move along with the flow. So so they got to catch them because but it's it, still important. It's still, so so then if I'm an independent artist and I'm, I'm just starting where am I supposed to develop myself? Where do I get this development from, I guess? I mean, I think it's the same steps back in the day. You just got to find the right person. Like, so if you know you're not as strong as stage poem, you got to find somebody to help you to develop your stage presence. You got to find somebody to help you with artist development. You got to find certain people with media training. You know what I'm saying? You just got to right. find certain people that can help you in areas that you feel like you need help in. It's so crazy because this is a thing in life. Like people have to understand their strengths and their weaknesses. And a lot of people right. don't want to acknowledge their weaknesses. Absolutely. But right. but you can't you can't reach the next level of success without acknowledging your weaknesses because you don't know where you need help at. Facts. You know what I mean? And so Facts. so artists, you have to acknowledge your weaknesses. Okay, I'm good at this, but this isn't my strong suit. So let let me find somebody whose strong suit this is to either train me or handle that for me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So so it's definitely about building a team um, because our development is very important because the thing is you want to last. You, you don't want to work 10 years to only be on for two. 
Right. You understand? Know and that happens 90% of the time in the music industry. Mm -hmm. People people go 10 years of hustling and grinding and they only last two years because they, they weren't ready. They never they never fully developed. You know what I mean? And so during that process, because it's going to take time. It's not going to happen right. overnight. Everything that happened overnight has 10 years of, of background to it. We just right. don't know about it. We Absolutely. didn't see it because it wasn't in the limelight. Yep. You know what I mean? So over that over that 10 year span, Focus on developing. Focus on getting better the entire time, and that that'll actually speed up you getting on. You know what I mean? And I think I think a lot of it. See, I'm gonna tell you this, right? I think a lot of it has to do. Artists don't understand business. You feel yeah. me? And so a lot of them don't want to understand business. And so you know, I get a lot of people get mad at me. We're artists. We're people. We're not products. And whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is business. It is a product. Absolutely. Yeah. You get where I'm coming from. Absolutely. Whether you want to look at it like that or not, yes, you are a human being, but you're soliciting yourself as a product for yeah. a consumer to buy. So now what happens is, is when you're dealing with people who have brands already, mm -hmm. like for example, I'm gonna use. Authentic Empire, for example. Talk to him. Authentic Empire already has a following, a clientele base, and a brand, which is considered like a fandom ship or a QC or, you know, a, a, yeah. a cash money or somebody. And they, they're bigger brands that already have a clientele base. Yep. And so what happens is when the artist gets with the brand by by default, it's like getting uh, starting a business in a good location. Yep. Right? Mm, they don't have like their, that. They don't have their own... Uh, clientele or their own consumer. So what happens is is artists get with these with these brands and they started they start making money and then what happens they don't understand the work ethic that has to go in to maintain and yes. to keep these clientele and then when they realize okay they they separate themselves from the brand they understand then oh snap I don't even have clientele. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to develop when you don't, don't even realize hey this brand and these people are helping me gain new clientele and new fans by putting my product basically in their store. Right. Yeah. That's already established. So it's like Foot Locker. If I'm able to put my shoe in Foot Locker, I'm going to get more, more eyes, sales. Yeah. more, right. more sales yeah. to it. But right. if I try to sell it on the street, it's going to be a little harder. Yeah. It's because be it's hard. not. Because and 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 the, the Foot Locker gives you the credibility. Like if it's here, right. it must be something. Absolutely. Exactly. You know I mean? And so if I'm signing our thing, our Empire, it must be something. Must be Come something. On. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you still got to get in that store. And, and sell your product because it's other shoes right, exactly. in that store. And exactly. it's going to be new shoes coming in that store. Your shoe ain't the only shoe that's going to be in the store. Right. And so, you know, I think them understanding, like, it's about building a clientele base, which yeah. is your fans. Yeah. If you don't have fans, you can't make money. Facts. Right. And exactly. so your number one goal as an artist is to build fans. Exactly. Just, what, just the same way a number one goal in business is to gain clients. Yeah. You feel me? So, so you you got it. You have to build a fan base, and you and you build it through engagement. The the number one way to create a fan is to engage with them. Right. That's and so just so we're all on the same page. Engagement is the most important thing out here. Engagement and content, man. That's how you build content. Is how they see you, and engaging with them is how you keep them. You know what I mean? Right. And so, so I, I would just tell everybody, man, artist development is, is super important. Do it now so that when you do finally get on, it lasts 10 plus years instead of last. I yes. mean, the average career is three years. You know what I mean? And so make sure when you're when you're get when you get your opportunity, you last longer than three years and you do that by developing yourself. Yes. You know what I mean? And getting with the right team. Right. So 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 Cersei, talk to us. Is there anything you want the people to know? Is there anything you want them to know about you or, or what you have going on? Yeah, if you got a catalog, give me a call. Reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so, and so what's, what's that process like? Like, talk talk to them about the process of, of selling their catalog. So, it's two ways that we can do analysis on their catalog. One is the logins uh, mm -hmm. from your publishing, your PRO. A lot of people are not comfortable giving out their logins, so we would need to pass through your statements from your PDF and CSV statements from yeah. each portal. Yeah. Okay, and, and so everybody here that that has a dashboard like that they log in and upload their music to, you can get the CSV from that dashboard. You can go in there and you can look at your royalty statements and and get that CSV. So that's where you would get that from. And then the, your PRO, you would also log in and do the same thing, or you could just pass the logins. Cause see, what we just did while putting search on real industry plugs is we put them in finish line. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Put we we put the them biggest. in put locker. We the biggest. You know I mean? So listen. <laughs> So listen, definitely you, you pass them the, the the um the logins and they can get that. How long how long does it take once you have the information? 
it take a week or two for us to do analysis and let you know what we feel like it's worth. And then from that, we send you an offer and you say yay or nay. So what's what's too small? What's what's like, okay, keep growing? Uh, If you're not, so... If it don't cost more than that watch, it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say, you know, it's certain companies out there that would do deals if you're earning at least 5000 a year. Ooh, okay. Me personally, I couldn't touch you that deal. You said 5000 A year. Yeah. yeah. It's some companies out there that will do a deal with you if you're earning like 5000 a year. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And so that would they do that like a 10X? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. 5000 no, no. at a 10X. No, no, no. <laughs> but what I'm saying is if it's just somebody that really needs some money right now yeah. to fund their next project or whatever they're trying to do, or you, you're in the bind, you need some money now. Right. Mm -hmm. That could work for you. So, so, so somebody asks, uh, what about a songwriter catalog? And so that's the thing, right? Absolutely. The majority yeah. of these I do are songwriter catalogs. So, so if I'm, you know, Sean Garrett, and I done wrote 19 number ones as he loves to tell us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to the boy. That's my guy, Sean Garrett. What up, Sean? So if I'm, if I'm, I mean, that's, that's, that's generational wealth at that point. Because yeah, he probably, I mean, I'm not telling, I don't, I don't know these numbers. These are fictional numbers. I'm making mm -hmm. these up. I, I, I do not know Sean business. But let's just say he's generating, you know, 10 million a year. Mm -hmm. Your 15 next to that is what? 150 million. So he can set that for 150 million and, and never write another song for these ungrateful artists again. Y'all seen Wayne <laughs> did a deal for 100 million a couple of years ago. Wayne, right, so Wayne right. sold for. What's some of the blockbuster deals out? You don't got to say if you was involved, but like give us some ideas of like blockbuster deals. Lil Wayne, 100 million dollar deal. Um, L.A. Reid did a deal. Dallas Austin did his deal. What, what's the numbers? I need some numbers. That, I'm sure this is public information. You said put their business out there. You said public. Uh, <laughs> who can I say that I wasn't involved with? <laughs> but just public knowledge is already been out there. Because I, 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 I think these are the numbers that that are the generational wealth numbers that I'm trying to get these artists to. Yeah. I'm trying to get them to like keep control of their stuff so that one day you can change not just your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because getting rich changed your life. Generational I, wealth changed your, the whole last name. I think, like, I, yep. think, I think wealth, JR, mm -hmm. and, and you know, I'm going to say this respectfully. I, I, I feel like wealth <laughs> is measured in time. It is, no, it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's, and, but that's, why, that's why you need those numbers yeah. to have wealth. Because we know that it's unlikely and it's, that over a few generations time it's going to get lost. I got one. Bruce right. Springsteen did this deal for 400 million. Okay. 400 million. And he was part of a, a group. Bruce Springsteen? I'm not. I don't think he was a part of the group. He was just okay. a huge artist. Okay. Yeah. He did it for like four million. Right. That's crazy. All right. So so bet. So so the numbers is definitely there. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If you build your catalog up and you want to sell it 10, 15 x, you definitely can. Like he said, if you need money in the crunch, if you need to reinvest in your business, the thing that I love about selling the catalog is you you get to sell what you want. You not you're not forced to sell everything. And then also, you still keep complete control of everything that comes after that. Yeah. Right. So, you know what I mean? Yep. I'm only selling my back catalog. I'm still a free man to do whatever I want moving forward. And so that's why I like the idea of it because it gives you the money to invest or it creates that wealth. Or if you got a plan to go get real estate, whatever you want to do, the money's there. And so more opportunity. Yeah, I, I, I want to shine a little bit more light on the catalog. We was talking about the, uh, the money you can make off it, right? So yeah. I would say as a big artist, A-list artist, You've made money a lot of ways, from mm -hmm. endorsements to tours to deals to whatever you've done, TV and film. But I would say that once you do a catalog sale, that would be the one biggest check you ever made your whole career. Your whole career. Guaranteed. Your wow. whole career. Guaranteed. Wow. So, uh, so no so matter look, what you've done in your career, how big you is, when you sell your catalog, that's going to be the biggest check you so make in So if I go get some big artists to do catalog deal, we can talk, we can make some money. 1,000%. Yeah. That's the easiest money you go ever go and make. It's a, it's a late come on <laughs> here. They ask, what is a catalog? Can you just give us one more time? What is a catalog? So a catalog consists of your PRO, your publishing, your masters, and sound exchange. Any any revenue stream that you're making in the entertainment business, yeah. you can sell it. Yeah, so it's, it's a revenue stream based off of your music. You know what I mean? But whether you're a producer, songwriter, or an artist, if you make music and have a revenue stream from it, and you control it, and that's the key, right? You have to you have to control it. And see, yep. I, and the more or a labor owner too. You can be a labor or a owner. labor owner. Yep. Like J.R. McKee, I have a catalog. <laughs> it is worth <laughs> millions. <laughs> you know, man. Me and Cersei gonna talk about it. I need to I need to multiply my catalog. Yeah. I got over 600, 6, yeah. 000 songs distributed. Oh, your catalog gonna be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but the thing is, is this right here too. I kick myself because I had songs I did a pub deal early on with Ke, and I ah. Uh, 
So, so talk about it. Well, the good thing is, even if you got a Pupshin, they don't stop you from selling your catalog. You're just selling your share of the catalog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the Pupshin company might have a uh, a matching clause in there, meaning you got to get them 30 days to see if, say, for instance, you get an offer of $5 million and you sign the Universal. Universal will have a clause in there, which is a matching clause, and they got 30 days to either match it or beat it. If right, they right. match it, you got to stay with Universal. If they beat it, you got to stay with Universal. But if they don't match it or beat it, then you can sign with whoever the offer I got you. Right. I got you. And, and somebody asks, how do you control it? You control and own everything until you do a deal that gives away their control or their ownerships. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So you control it from day one until you enter into a situation that gives that away. So let's say if I sign a major deal and in that major deal, they now own the masters where well, they own and control it. You know what I'm saying? Or if I, or if I sign a deal and I keep, I keep ownership of the masters, but I give away control. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's whatever is in the deal that you sign, um, is how you lose that control. Um, but of course, you're signing that deal because you're obviously trying to gain something. It's not a, yep. a loss all the way. You're trying to gain something. That's why you give up that control. Yep. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So so look, so before we get out of here, boom, I have pulled up one of your tweets since I did last week's tweet take. Oh, okay. I have pulled up one of your tweets. Oh, man. And so I, I mean, want to know that, what you... That's my, that's my journal, my Twitter. <laughs> I <laughs> want to know what you meant when you... Talk about tweet takes. Uh, yeah. No, we're getting into the tweet takes now. Boom, I want to know what you meant when you said this. You said, a lot comes with a lot. If you want a lot, expect to deal with a lot. It's that simple. What are you saying, Boom? <laughs> it's a bitch plan to Like, so pretty much what I'm saying is this right here. Anytime, everybody got dreams of doing things big, right? Yes. And, and I live my life understanding this one thing, right? Um, a lot of people want a life with no problems. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. That'll never happen. You feel me? Everybody has problems. I think that the decision and the choice we have in this world is to figure out which problems we want to deal with. Right. So we have problems where people say, for example, um, somebody wants to be rich and somebody doesn't care about being rich. They both comes with they both come no with problems. problems. You exactly. feel me? So yeah. the reason why I said a lot comes with a lot. If you want a lot, expect to deal with a lot because the more that you have, the more you have to deal with. You know, exactly. that's that type, that's the problem you have to deal with. So a person that's that has a lot of money always have to worry about somebody trying to take it from them. You right. feel me? Right. A person without money has to worry about how to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. It's gonna come with a problem either way. So we've chosen to, to get, do, money. get yeah. money. So we have bigger money problems. So yes, you got people money. online trying to tear you down. Yeah. You got people that are trying to sue you. You got people that's trying to block your blessings because yeah. they ain't got it. They don't understand it. So a lot comes, comes with, with a lot. lot. So, you know, my Twitter, a lot of times I get on there and I tweet my frustrations, especially if I can't tell it to somebody. So I'm like, <laughs> somebody finna hear this shit. Right. <laughs> right. A lot comes so with that, a lot. That, that Twitter be my little outlet every now and then for those who follow me. You know, you get to see the real me on that damn Twitter. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. And I don't like the internet shit, but I just tweet every now and then because I don't have the time to write it down, ball it up, put it on Bernie on fire, whatever. <laughs> no, for sure. Well, listen, man, we appreciate Cersei for coming through appreciate and breaking down this catalog things. For sure. Because, man, it's, it's super important to, to my whole, you know, stance on, on the music industry because, right. like I said, once I realized the value we had been giving away, um, which is the catalog, which is the IP, I immediately said, you know, I had, to, I had to start talking about it. I had to start telling people. And so thank you for coming here and, and just expressing to us exactly what that is, showing people what it's worth and how they can maneuver it. Um, we, we super appreciate it. That's, that's probably, this is probably the most important episode because we, the catalog is the most viable thing in the music industry. Absolutely. Definitely. And so, so Absolutely. you coming here and blessing us and breaking this down, man, we, we truly appreciate it. Thank y'all for man. having me. Thank and definitely, sure, if y'all looking to sell, how at the catalog, Broker yes, man, sir. holla at Cersei, man. If y'all if y'all looking to move y'all catalog, <laughs> go follow uh, him. Cersei, yeah. he said he'll be on Instagram like you gonna be on Instagram like that, or you you just I, don't operate it like that? I, a little bit. A little bit. So go my Instagram him, is go. Cersei of C W E. Yeah, Cersei of C W E is his Instagram. Go good follow brother, him now. Good brother. Yes. Handle his business. Do good business, man. I exactly. rock with Cersei, man. He's been around for a long time. And I appreciate you, appreciate my man. You, bro. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, sir. Now yes, sir. listen, y'all follow Real Industry Plugs. Y'all subscribe to Real Industry Plugs, man. New episodes every day of the week, Monday through Friday. You can hear a new episode of Real Industry Plugs. So that's on YouTube. That's all on Spotify Podcast, Apple Music Podcast. Everywhere you can get podcasts, man, you'll get a new 
new episode every day of the week. So, man, make sure y'all tune in and tap plugged. in. You just got mm-hmm. plugged. Like, that's our theme right there with our tagline. You just got plugged. Yep. All right, people, we'll see you next week, man. Salute to everybody for tapping in, man. Follow Real Industry Plugs. Follow CERCF, CWE. Follow Boom, man, underscore AE. And follow jrmckee.co, man. We'll see y'all next week.